Welcome to our lecture online. Now it's time to do an example problem of how to apply this, how to apply the center mass of a particular object, in this case, a semicircular wire. Assuming the wire is strong enough and stiff enough so that it can maintain a semicircular shape, notice that the wire on one side is connected to the post right here with an object that allows it to swivel back and forth. So this is a pivot point, and the wire then, because of gravity, will come down and lean up against the post here and the question is what is the force, the reaction force of the post pushing back against the wire as the wire is pushing up against the post the post will push back with a reactionary force and we're trying to find that force we need to use the concept of center of mass of the wire to figure out how gravity acts upon that wire because gravity acts upon the wire as if all the mass is concentrated at the center of mass now, in this particular case, the center mass will not be anywhere on the wire. We need to find that point, and then using that force, we can then find the torque on this wire, which then allows us to find the force against the post. Let's do that. First of all, we need to find the center of mass of this semicircular wire. And just to make it easy, we're supposed to be able to go to a table and look up these values. We know that in this case, in the x direction, the center of mass of a semicircular wire is 2 times the radius divided by pi, which puts it right about here. And so this distance here can then be set to be 2 times the radius divided by pi, and that would be equal to the x coordinate of the center mass of this wire. Let's find out what that is equal to. So the x coordinate is equal to 2 times the radius divided by pi. The radius here is 20 centimeters. That's 2 times 20 centimeters divided by pi. And then with a the calculator, we can figure out what that is equal to. 40 divided by pi equals 12.7 centimeters. 12.7 centimeters. Now we know that gravity acts upon the wire as if all the mass is right here at this point, which means that the force due to gravity pulls right down there. That would be m times g. In this case, m is 400 grams times 9.8 meters per second square for the acceleration due to gravity. Notice that we should convert this to kilograms. This is therefore 0 0.4 times 9.8 and well that would be uh, 39.2 no actually it's 3.92 3.92 newtons that is the force of gravity pulling down on the wire now we can calculate the torque we know that everything is in equilibrium which means that the sum of all the torques must add up to zero or another way to say that is the sum of all the moments about this point right here, let's call this point A, must equal to zero. So let's add up all the moments about point A. The first one is the force of gravity here. We can go ahead and find the line of action. We know that the force acts this way. This would be the perpendicular distance. Let's call this distance one. Therefore, since the, since the um, torque is in a clockwise direction, that would be a negative moment, minus the force mg times the distance d1. The second force causing a torque or causing a moment would be this force right here, the reactionary force of the post pushing back against the wire. That makes this here distance 2. Notice that this is the line of action of that force. So to get the moment, we multiply the force times the distance, the perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to the point of rotation. This will cause a counterclockwise moment. Counterclockwise means positive. So plus the force F multiplied times D2. And that all adds up to zero. The only unknown, the force right here, Let's solve for that force by moving this over to the other side, turning the equation around. Force times distance 2 equals mg times distance 1. Or finally, the force is equal to mg times the ratio of distance 1 divided by distance 2. 
the mass times the gravity was equal to 3.92 newtons multiply times the ratio of distance 1 which is the x coordinate of the center mass we found that to be 12.7 centimeters divided by distance 2 which is twice the radius of the wire the radius 20 centimeters that makes that 40 centimeters and then with the calculator 3.92 times 12.7 divided by 40 is 1.24 newtons 1.24 newtons is the reactionary force of the post pushing back against wire which is swiveling at point A right there notice how finding through maybe having a table of values or by either calculating it we can find the center of mass of the wire we can then use the center mass to realize that that will then cause a moment about point A pushing the wire against the post, the post then pushes back against the wire we then sum up the moments because we know in a in a situation where everything is in equilibrium all the moments added together add up to zero which then allows us to find the force on the post that's how we do this problem